Hello everybody, welcome back to MCP Redstone and today we are bringing you the second episode of Minecraft Pocket Edition Redstone Basics. So hello, welcome back. Um, today we're going to be covering once again something really really simple. Um, you can click the top right corner, there's like a little eye icon, and if you press that, then you'll be able to find a full playlist with all the episodes of the Redstone Basics, so you can check that out if you want to learn some more. Anyway, let's get started. Today we're going to be talking about some Redstone Torches. First of all, what you can do with this, of course, they activate Redstone. But of course you already knew that, so today we're going to be going a little bit more in depth about this torch, and uh, yeah, as you can see, you can place them down, and they're going to be powering redstone lines or signals basically but let's go on if you place a redstone torch these are representing the blocks that it will power so if you press a redstone torch it will power all these blocks that would be the the glass blocks as you can see like so uh, however if you place a block on top a solid block so not something like uh, I don't know uh, an iron bar or a fence or something then it will power all these blocks as well and I can show you that here as you can see this red block is above this uh, torch and then it will power all these blocks that are connected to the red block as well now this can be very very useful in some builds so keep this in mind and uh, it can help a lot so let's get on to something else uh, also um, yeah let's get on to something else um, this is a way to turn off a torch. You might have seen that a torch can go like this sometimes. If you, what you need to do is you, uh, you you let a signal go into a torch and then you turn it on. Simple as that. Uh, and that should be about it. So next thing, what do we have here? Oh yeah, this is basically a repeater. We can use torches to make a repeater because there's no actual repeaters yet. And what this is going to do is it's basically going to repeat the sign. So as we learned in the last episode, a redstone signal can only go 15 blocks before the signal is going to be out. Now this repeater repeats the signal with a one tick delay, which means uh, one a tenth of, this, of a second, and then it's going to repeat the signal uh, to make it go further, nice and easy. You can also use a torch to invert redstone signals. So as you can see, uh, this redstone signal powers the lamp. Well, if you press a redstone, uh, then it's going to be going off. So this is a way that you can make make it so lamps go off when you press on a button, or doors close when you press on a button instead of them going open. Something very useful and to keep in mind. As well as something that I haven't set up here yet, but I want to show you it anyway. Something that I was that's something that's basically a mixture of some things that I've showed you already. If you place a block and a redstone torch and if you press a block on top it's going to power that thing as well if you put a torch on there it's going to power off the torch really really useful and uh, let's let's uh, see what you can do with that you can make an entire trail of like uh, this is a really nice and easy way you can make a signal go up so as you can see I just want to show you this really quick let me take out a lever uh, where is a lever? Here you go. So you can make a signal go up all the way. Press a uh, little lamp on there, and this is going to turn it off with a slight delay, of course, because all the torches have a one point uh, one tenth of a second. So that's going to be doing it for this episode of Redstone Basics. Subscribe for more Redstone. Uh, click the link in the description for the full. Uh, playlist of all these episodes. Next episodes are going to be talking about logic gates and I hope you will all have a great day and I will see you all in the next video. Bye.